Hello everyone, welcome to Shane Shed, I'm Shane. Uh, again today, back on the 2017 Hyundai Ascent, uh, going to be doing the rear brake pads. So, let's get into it. So these are relatively simple, uh, I just take off the bolts for the caliper slides and uh, just lift this whole thing up and pop the brake pads out. So, you just need a 17mm uh, spanner and a 14mm. So the 14mm is on the, the outer bolt, 17mm is just to hold the slide in place to stop it from spinning. So there's those two bolts out, and you just pop that uh, caliper out of the way and remove our brake pads. There's one out, and there's the other one out. So that one's a little bit on the worn side, so the other side's not too bad. So you can see the difference in the, uh, the pad wear there, so fairly significant. So we'll just replace this the same way as we did the last one, so the little wear indicator goes on the inner pad and one without goes to the outside. Okay, so these rear calipers, in order to get the piston back in, I feel you know, so you got those little indents. So this piston needs to be rotated around to drive it back in. Now, a couple of, uh, there is some kits of uh, tools you can get to do this. Uh, some of them are pretty fancy, you know, you've got a big threaded bar and everything and you screw them from the outside. They're kind of expensive, like the cheapest one I seen at Repco today was 150 bucks. So I thought, bugger that, I'm not getting that. So you could use, like a pair of long nose pliers or something to to get in there and, and force try and rotate them around like that. That's a pain, but I found this little cube here. So just rotate it around. You're gonna find at least one side that's got a slot that fits in there, which I'm thinking might be this one here. Uh, not that one, but I'm sure we'll come across one that works. There we go, that one's pretty good. And it's just a matter of using your socket on there to screw it in. It's a bit more fiddly than some of the nice flat flash kits, but yeah, you know, if you're a bit of a cheapskate like me, then this will work fine. So these are a little bit more fiddly, but honestly, for the amount of times you generally do this job, it's not too bad. So it's then just a matter of screwing in that piston enough so that we can all get over the, the brakes. It's almost there. It's a little bit more required. And there we go. It's back on. I just need to throw these slide bolts back in. I just a matter of talking these up. I'll, uh, I'll get some torque specs and throw them on the screen for you. And that's pretty much it, job done. So this side's done. Obviously I need to do the other side, so no point filming it twice because it's pretty much just exactly the same process. So thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, all that stuff. Or subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Uh, 
yeah, if this little tip saves you a few bucks for going on the mechanics, and uh, maybe consider the super thanks button as well. Uh, that'd be greatly appreciated. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.